Hello, my name is Neeraj Kera and I'm with the Windows Audio Platform team at Microsoft. Welcome to the Windows 11 release notes for August 2024. Today, we are showing you how to fine-tune your audio experience using the volume mixer in Windows 11. But first, a few highlights from this month's update. Please note that some of these are rolling out gradually and might not yet be available for your device. Let's start with a new feature for the Start menu. You can now drag apps from the pinned section of the Start menu and pin them to your taskbar for quick and easy access. Need a new tab in File Explorer with the same path as a current tab? Right-click on the current tab and select Duplicate tab. With this update, you can quickly navigate to open apps by using the shortcut Windows key plus T, then typing the first letter of the app. Lastly, this update addresses several issues where File Explorer did not appear, respond, or behave as expected. For details on all the improvements in this month's update, read the full release notes at aka.ms slash windows11 slash release notes slash 2408. Now let's take a closer look at the new volume mixer in Windows 11. Volume Mixer makes it easy to customize your audio by offering granular control of individual apps and system sounds. There are several ways to launch Volume Mixer, giving you the option to choose which is most natural for you. The easiest way is to use the keyboard shortcut Control plus Windows logo key plus V. Or if you prefer, locate the volume icon on your taskbar, right-click and select Open Volume Mixer. Once you reach the Volume Mixer settings, you will see two sections, System and Apps. In the System section, you can adjust the overall volume for your output and input devices using the Volume Slider. You can also select your default output and input devices. For example, you might use your computer's speakers and microphone, or you might use a headset. In the App section, you can adjust the volume level of individual apps open on your device. You can also mute or unmute individual apps by selecting the speaker icon next to the volume slider for the desired app. For example, if you want to mute all content playing in the browser, select the speaker icon next to Microsoft Edge. Want to set a different input or output device for a specific app? Simply expand the volume mixer settings for that app, then make your selection. You can change your volume settings and your preferred input and output devices at any time. The new settings will take effect right away. Are there Windows 11 features you would like to know more about? Share your feedback by selecting one of the buttons on the bottom right of the release notes page or leave a comment on any of our videos on the Windows Community YouTube channel at aka.ms slash Windows community on YouTube. That's it for this month. Thanks for watching.